So thanks again for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix. Today we're going to be doing another video demonstrating the pull method of dispatching quail. I got a couple of requests from the last video uh, requesting a little bit of a closer shot as to what happens during the process. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. I have two birds that were up for dispatch and we're gonna like I said we're gonna show you that process that includes the plumage how it draws back in towards the body and how it comes back how you know it doesn't fall out but it loosens up and you know you'll be able to see that firsthand up close I have my bucket right here uh, so stay tuned and as always I'm going to include a disclaimer in this video warning animals will be harmed in the making of this video I will be dispatching two live quail so if you are not up for that please turn this video off right now watch another one of my videos or watch another friendly quail video from you know somewhere else either way let's get started all right and again just as a side note I have water heating up in the kitchen right now, getting up to 160 degrees so we can make another attempt at getting the feathers off of the bird without breaking the skin. We're going to try this again, hoping to get it perfect. I've already dispatched one of the birds thinking that I was recording, but I was not. I got into a friendly conversation with the male lady. She has chickens uh, and I'm going to show you again the pull and turn method of dispatching the quail and this is the second one right here now again you're going to want to have your bird facing you you're going to make an L shape with your finger you're going to put your forefinger in the front thumb towards the back and then you're just going to twist and pull so again bird facing you kind of a relaxing effect when you lay them down like this and you're going to use your thumb and your forefinger and the higher up you hold the bird the easier it is now again we're going to watch for the plumage to draw away from the body it's going to draw back in and then out once the bird stops moving and then we can go ahead and finish the processing. Which again, we're going to do using 160 degree water. And we're going to feather the bird. And hopefully leave the skin all the way on. Now if you watch closely again, the feathers are going to draw in. And then they're going to go away from the body. All right, I'm going to check the temperature on this water again, see what we have. If we're at 160 degrees, I'm going to be perfect for getting these feathers off of this bird. No more, no less. And look at that, people. We are at exactly 160 degrees. So at 160 degrees, you want to soak your birds for no more than 20 to 30 seconds. Again, going in. And after about 20 seconds, I'm going to pull the bird out and we're going to start pulling the feathers off of the bird. 
And again, we're just aiming to pull the feathers off. And you can see how easily these feathers are coming out. Now, from what I've noticed, it's easier if you pull with the grain of the skin at first and then go against as the skin starts to be exposed. But I just say, do whatever works for you. This worked for me, so. I'm gonna get all these long feathers from the last joint of the wing. Those feathers will rub right off now. Without a problem. Just rub them right on off. Feathers on the wings are kind of stubborn. Okay, once we get all these feathers rubbed off of here, it doesn't matter if you still see them on the bird. When we rinse the bird off, they'll come right off. So don't rub too hard. And again, in this area, your feather is going to be a little tougher to pull out. So it's okay to tug a little bit because remember, we're cutting that area out anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and rinse this bird off. I have most of the feathers off that I'm going to get off of here. With the exception of these few that are on the wings. And I'll meet you back at the cutting board. All right. And here we have our quail. You can see one is processed with the skin off. One is processed with the skin on. This was done quite accidentally, but we learned from our mistakes. When I first took this one out and started to try to pull the feathers off, I pulled a little bit too hard and split the skin. And went ahead and just took the rest of it off. So we did manage to get this one successfully done. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the processing really quick. I'll show you how to do that. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, we'll go ahead and do that here. First thing we're gonna do is clip the legs off of each bird. I like to cut below the knee because I like to have something to hold on to, but that's always a matter of preference with most people. Now we have this midsection right here where all the bad business goes on and there's the vent still right there as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and make a V-shape right above it. I'm going to cut that out. And usually when you get it just right, the intestines will come out. Try to pull a little bit of them out just for the sake of being able to steer clear of that stuff when I'm going up the back of the spine with the, with the shears. So I'm cutting up both sides of the spine. And I'm gonna get in here and try to pull everything out all at once. Now, if you look right here, 
stuck up against the rib cage, you'll see a lung. Put your thumb up under there, slide it in. It'll pop right on out. You pull that out of there. Looks like it came out already on the other side. And that was a pretty clean process. So we'll put this to the side and get started on the next one. And again, you can see the vent right there still on the bird. I'm going to go ahead and make a V shape right above the vent. I'm going to clip right here. I'm going to clip right there. I'm going to pull. Nothing came with it that time, but as long as you stay up against the top of the spine, you should be generally okay. Remember, we're cutting up both sides of the spine right here. And we're going to open up the bird. Try to take out everything at one time. But it doesn't always happen that way, so let's keep that in mind. Again, you'll want to keep a close eye out for these lungs. There's one right there. You get your thumb up under there, pop it out. There's the other one. Get your thumb up under there, pop it out. All right, and once you have all of the organs removed, you're going to run it under the sink for a final rinse, and you'll be all done. All right, and there we have two quail processed, freshly processed quail. This one has the skin on, obviously. This one has the skin off. Uh, they can both be prepared different ways, same way. Uh, you're going to get a little bit more flavor, of course, with the skin on. I'm going to put both of these on ice and get them ready for the freezer. Make sure you stay tuned for more. All right, and thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. We're always coming back with more videos, so make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you're notified whenever I drop a new video on the channel. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks again from New York Eternix.